Hello and welcome back to Hit The Streets with me, Steve G. You're watching a YouTube channel that's dedicated towards all things street photography. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you may have noticed that Monday's street photography point of view was a little bit out of the ordinary, mostly because it wasn't a point of view, also because it wasn't anything really to do with street photography. It was a street photographer in myself trying my hand at architecture photography, and I don't think I did too badly. Let's take a look at some of the photos from that session right after this. So let's talk about a street photographer attempting to be an architecture photographer for the day. Personally, I don't think I did too bad. If you watched Monday's video and you liked the photos in that, please do let me know in the comments section below. I felt a little bit insecure about shooting them and, ve and veering away from the established POV format, but I think it really worked because generally the point of view wouldn't have seen actually what I was looking at because it was mostly looking up and looking down and all sorts of really weird and wonderful angles around the Barbican. The video itself I think was kind of beautiful in a way, somewhat unexpected for the location, but it's one of those new style videos with a little intro designed to give you, the viewer, a feeling of the atmosphere of the area in which I'm shooting. I really enjoy doing that little intro b-roll sequence. If that's something that you really like, smash that thumbs up button and just let me know. On top of that, I think the entire tone of the video, the music, the slightly different uh, slideshow style to the video introduced a little bit of a fresh, more chilled out style to some of these POVs because when I'm out and about on the street and I'm moving from A to B to C, it can be quite hectic and I like the POVs to really reflect that upbeat tempo, that kind of jumping from A to B style, but this altogether was something a little bit different. So this point of view was helped by the fact that it was actually a super sunny day which is actually not ideal conditions for any real photographer at 12 noon when the sun is so heavy and hard and, and cutting. But when you're in an area like the Barbican and you're searching for those hard lines, that big contrast between black and white and trying to get something a little bit moody out of what is quite static buildings, quite, quite static buildings. Buildings don't move, Steve. So yeah, it's all about the contrast and it's all about the texture and those lines, those lines. So let's get into some of the photos itself. I've rambled on long enough. Let's talk about photo number one. So I just loved the colors in this photo. And if you know me, 99% of my photos are always in black and white, but there isn't a disproportionate amount of photos in this session that I actually chose to put into color. Let me know if you like the color versus black and white in the comments below. This photo I think in color is really nice because it opens your eyes a little bit more to that 70s brutalist aesthetic. Obviously you've got this blue sky over the top and you've got this very small little character just right in the bottom middle which I think helps to add scale to some of the buildings around them. For me this was the first one on this session that really just started to click and put me at ease about shooting something that I don't normally shoot. So about halfway through the shoot, I rounded the corner of yet another one of the Barbican's buildings and just stumbled upon this perfect composition. Whatever way the sun was casting down on the building in that moment, just gave me a perfect 45 degree angle that cut right through the center of my photograph. And it's just that perfect piece of simplistic symmetry that you don't get very often. You certainly never get it in such an ad hoc format as street photography. But then I rounded another corner, of which there are many in the Barbican, and just came across this somewhat of a boring square archway looking sort of from an inside courtyard out. And above that was just this almost plate glass window. And someone, I don't know if it's a flat or if it's a workplace or what it is, just had put lots of little pairs of, of shoes up against the window. And whatever way the shadows were casting and the light that was coming through and refracting off of that window, 
just all came together to give me this really odd surrealist frame. And I think that it was just something that again, in its weirdness, is quite beautiful. The final photograph that I want to have a quick chat with you guys today about was the image of the lady with sunglasses stepping into the light. I had actually found this little patch of light which was refracting off of this weird tiled surface and I thought, man, wouldn't it be great if someone just walked across here right now just into that little bit of light and I'm able to get a really nice photo of them? But I stood and I stood and I stood and no one showed up. In the entire session, I would estimate I maybe saw 10 people. So the odds of someone turning up in that moment to step into my little ball of light to make that perfect little composition was pretty much nil. But then the lady showed up and it was all good. I happened to be in an elevated position looking down at the light at the same time and acted as if I was just photographing that and she had almost gotten my way. But I managed just to capture that little perfect frame of her passing through this light. But for whatever reason, the way the light cast on this woman in this moment, it just has this weird ethereal glow about it that, I mean, I don't think I could do that if I tried again, to be completely honest. It's probably mostly luck, but it seems to have worked out this time. If you like the photos, if you like this little review session, please do hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe if you haven't had a chance to yet. And for those that have subscribed, a massive thank you for supporting this channel, especially in its early days. And you will, I've said it a couple of times now, but you will see the technical bar and the photos and the creativity on this channel just go up from here. So until Monday's point of view, Go spend your weekend on the streets, take your camera with you and take some photos. And then maybe send a few my way too.